everyone! <laughs> I feel so excited about this vlog. So, hello everyone! I hope everyone is doing fine and staying healthy right now amidst this pandemic. So, today is um, June 6th and it's Sunday and it's already my 8th day on my quarantine here in Manila. So, absolutely naman, very very exciting ang journey um, upon arriving here in the Bansang Sinilangan, Philippines. Take a look at this view. So, just behind me, I have it, this one, my church. My church dyan. Ayan, waiting for the sunset. It looks so pretty. And in front of me is just the Naia Terminal 3. Ayan. Well, well, well. Firstly, I would like to say thank you sa gobyerno natin, syempre, through the administration of President Duterte at um, sa pangunguna ng sangay ng uh, OWA or the um, Overseas Workers Welfare Administration. Um, kundi dahil sa kanila, syempre naman, um, you know, mas maayos at mas naging smooth yung pagdating namin dito, naming mga OFWs dito sa um, sa airport. So, ayan naman, since um, pandemic is happening, ayan, meron yung uh, tinatawag na programa para sa mga returning OFWs. OWA, make sure na wala tayong gagastusin kahit piso. Hindi tayo maglalabas ng pera natin sa wallet natin because they shoulder every single thing. So, from the transportation coming from the airport, ihahatid tayo ngayon dito sa hotel quarantine facility. Ayan, kumpleto po yan. And then, up to your everyday meals, three times a day with your water, ayan, provided lahat. And then, down to your swab test, which I had it yesterday through the help of Philippine Coast Guard and Philippine Red Cross. Meron din po silang provide na transportation papunta sa inyong probinsya. Ayan. So, obviously, tig-iisa po yung mga OFWs natin, tig-iisa po yung occupant in its route. And I am very thankful enough. Shout out to Belmont Hotel Manila, where I'm staying at right now for my quarantine. Thank you so much for giving me the best room ever because I'm here at the ninth floor and this is a top in corner room. Medyo babaan din naman natin yung expectations natin when it comes to our hotel quarantine facilities perhaps. Kasi syempre pondo ito ng gobyerno, hindi naman ito pang bakasyon lang. But of course, let's not forget na hindi naman yung luxurious things yung habol natin when it comes to this quarantine hotel facilities. Importante is that we can rest properly and then we can reach home. We are able to reach our homes safely. So, what to expect from a hotel room? Definitely, you will have your own bed. Very comfy and it's all for you. You have your own bathroom. And of course, to make it more convenient and more pleasant to stay, you have your extra things that is being included. Ayan, so from the bathroom, you have your vanity kit, you have your dental kit, and going to your wardrobe, you will have your iron board, meron yung plancha, and of course, the security box, which is meant for your valuables such as jewelry, passport, money, perhaps. But then, since you're, you're just inside the room, literally, then definitely, you're totally safe. Your valuables are totally safe. And of course, going to your uh, entertainment um, area of the room, <laughs> and yung uh, plasma TV. There you go. That's the plasma TV. You have your telephone, a water heater, a hair dryer. It's providing the drinking waters, which is normally like five or six bottles a day. Kung kulang naman sa'yo, pwede kang mag-request kahit ilan. Especially for myself, matubig ako. 
And then, meron din tayong mini fridge, which I find it very useful, especially when I don't finish or when I can't finish my meal. They have also extra things, such as the sanitizing kit. So, sa loob, meron siyang mask, meron siyang alcohol wipes, and then meron siyang gloves. And also, I love the diffuser kasi it somehow creates or gives an additional pleasant smell sa room. Yung nagsisirculate na room, hindi lang yung amoy kulob. And I have forgotten about the free unlimited Wi-Fi provided po yan. And also the, ayun nga, yung air conditioning unit. But it doesn't mean na uh, libre lahat is pwedeng abosohin. Uh, but for myself kasi, you know, pwede akong mabuhay na walang aircon. So pinapatay ko din yan. Now talking about our meals, it is being provided three times a day. Wala pong palyayan. Starts from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You don't have to worry because it is such a generous portion. So, it is a pre-packed meal and it is being delivered to your doorstep. Nag-request ako and then they gave me an extra portion. And then until then, thank you, thank you so much, um, Cafe Belmont. Thank you so much for my everyday um upsize meals <laughs> if you think that the food is not enough for you or hindi mo trip yung food you can probably order sa room service but then it will be charged on your personal account so pag ako tiis tiis na lang kung nagkikrave man kayo ng something which is totally out from the menu then meron pa rin naman sagot dyan so, in every hotel, meron, meron silang tinatawag na house parent. And their main task is to fully assist kung ano man yung kailangan ng mga OFWs. Now, guys, you don't have to abuse these people. Kasi naman, like for this person that um, assisting me right now or assisting us right now here in this hotel, his name is... Kuya John Lloyd Alcade, shout out to you. <laughs> Ayan, he is such a very kind and very patient guy. So, si Sir, siya po si, pwede pong patingin yung ID nila at yung napakapagets na photo. So, siya po si Mr. Si Lotti John Lloyd Alcade from OWA. Ayan, siya po yung house parent natin dito sa Belmont Hotel, Manila. So, kumusta po yung araw natin so far, Sir? So far, mga okay naman. Nag-aantay tayo ng bus. Para sa mga purple out natin na OFW. Ilan pa yung darating ngayon, sir? Bas, isa lang. Kasi, sa so, mga nasa eh, yun lang yung lalabas natin. Yung 7 doon, papunta ang PITX. Yung 11, papunta ang Visayas, Mindanao. Terminal 2. Ah, so ito yung mga check-out po? Yes, ma'am. Ilan pa yung mga in-house na OFWs ngayon dito sa hotel? Sa so, ngayon ng 286. So, ayan. So, ang dami palang uh, under sa inyo. So, hindi ba mahirap yun? Kaya naman, ma'am. Dalawa naman kami. So, kayang-kaya? Kayang-kaya. So, ayan po. Yung mga mag-check-in dito sa Belmont Hotel, Manila, very good hands. Very good hands kayo kasi um, andyan si Sir Lodi Janway na mag sa inyo. So, thank you so much po. Good this po. Bye-bye. So, nag-request ako ngayon kay Kuya John Lloyd to buy for me my multivitamins and fruits. You have to make sure na yung mga necessities or yung mga essentials lang talaga yung ipapabili natin. Kasi, please take note that he is not only attending to you. The house parent is clearly staying at this hotel. So, andito nakaprovide yung room number niya. Andyan din yung mobile number niya. Now, once you checked in to this room, wala ka ng chance lumabas. All you have to do is to stay within these four pillars of this room. The only chance that you're going out of this room is when you will be having your swab test, which is on the seventh day. Wag po tayong maging pasaway. Alright? All you have to do is to wait for straight 10 days now talking about 
staying healthy and sane, of course, prepared tayo dyan. Before flying back, dapat iisipin mo na yung mga gagawin mo na dapat occupied ka, na dapat maging productive ka. Of course, you have to make yourself busy pa rin para maging uh, active yung brain cells natin or your body cells natin. So, aside from uh, just sleeping, eating, and watching TV, you have to do something else. Which is, you know, to stay fit. Kasi, alam nyo yun, ang hirap yung nakahiga ka lang. So, that means we need to exercise. Ayan, kailangan nating maging stay fit. So, I brought my yoga mat with me. I brought my uh, jump rope with me. Ayan. And for, for staying sane, I have brought some books to read. Ayan, I have brought my puzzles. Well, people will be thinking that it is a luxurious thing to stay in a hotel room like you're just having your holiday or staycation. But for us, it's not. Yes, para kang prinsesa kasi everything is being provided to you. But then, no. Kasi the mere fact that you just had your swab test and of course, there is this worry that, you know, I hope it's gonna be negative result. It is very important to stay sane and samahan din natin ng positivity. Never let your mind divert to think onto negative things. Dapat happy thoughts lang palagi. And it's really a good thing, you know, here at the hotel, they provide this. They have a holy bible. Now, we must not forget to give the service providers respect, kindness, and appreciation. Yes, we are hotel guests, but that doesn't mean na entitled na tayo sa lahat. You know, with a simple sticky note saying, Thank you for my delicious meal. God bless po. Stay safe and healthy. You know, by, by, by writing these things, you don't know how much it uh, melts their heart somehow. And also, I would like to share my good housekeeping practice and proper sanitation. So this is how I normally do every time I wake up. I have to sanitize everything that I touch and whatever that is inside the room, including the telephone, remote control, and talking about staying fit and healthy, if you don't have any equipment, you don't have to worry because you may simply improvise and be resourceful. And our top priority, of course, is taking good care of our health. Proper food intake, taking multivitamins, and proper meditation. And for sure after that, we are ready to conquer the day. And lastly, sabi nga ng idol natin si John Lloyd Alcade. I mean, John Lloyd Bruce. Ingat! <laughs> Bye!